do. All right, so we're back. We're playing more Batman. Last time we played Batman for the Sega Genesis, and now we're playing Batman for the PC Engine, which is only in Japan. Get the camera Push more red center. Red <laughs> yeah, you must run in this one. Look at this. That's good enough. All right, and then I think that, yep, that's recording. I was gonna have this play for the hell of it and play some special features of Batman. <laughs> of oh, Batman yeah. the movie, yeah. See if I can, where did I put it? Batman 1989. That's gonna be a low volume. Should I have a manual for this one? <laughs> no, it's yeah, only in Japanese, so no, I didn't right, bother printing sense. it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then this. So I guess it'll just be kind of visuals we can glance at whenever one of us not is not playing. But you want to go first? All right. I don't think I've ever actually played one of these in person before. Yeah. So it's NES style controller, but it has turbo slider. So this, both of these will be the same action, which is throw your battery. Okay. Except this one, the turbo is enabled. Gotcha. And the run button is the start button. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they had no uh, save chip for these cartridges because they're like the master system, oh, like yeah. the or the original um, Sega Sega systems SG one thousand or whatever it was. Yeah, but it only like disables them. Like was that other game that you can't kill them? <laughs> You can kill them, I can tell you how if you want to know. Uh, <laughs> I sure will. Yeah, it's kind of hard to figure that out. Figured uh, it out. <laughs> it's not, oh, yeah, it's not hard to figure out. But. And, um, yeah, I. Well, I mean, it's not much uh, actually toy, I'm just like shoving them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pac-Man style. Or something like that. Yeah. And I guess at least unlike Pac-Man where you would have to go power pellet to have a chance. You have to run away from guys. You don't really have to run away in this Dude. one as far as I can tell. Because I only played the first couple of levels though so it might get harder later. And you're Distance, one of those items is distance. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna switch off each stage. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's a weird Stop. maze like, uh, like a maze like series of battles or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, this counter is like how much the, there's a story is that there's chemicals that uh, chemical bombs that the Joker planted, and so. Like you're disabling them, I guess, or you're picking oh, up. So those are definitely the bombs. That's how many you have left to collect, right? Right. Yeah, okay. And so once you get to zero, then you pretty much beat the stage. It's like a uh, yeah, underwater level from Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh nice. yeah, yeah, that's right. Not as terrifying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thankfully not. Yeah, so it starts out easy. I don't know what to expect for later. Yeah. Easy, pretty nice. Graphics yeah. are not too bad. It's just a weird game to have. <laughs> like a weird genre for Batman. Like, yeah. I expect this. It's cool to see something different than the platforming genre, I guess, that the others were. Yeah. And then the, or the, com the computer ones did the uh, isometric one, the very first Batman game, oh, was yes. really interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was the yeah. only other one that was like a totally different style. Because the other ones were just like archaic platforming style Batman. And then we got to the NES and then it got better. <laughs> and then Game Boy was the shooting one. We tried recording that one too, but it uh... That was the first recording we did and it didn't come out right because I didn't bother 
testing or anything. Wait, hold on. Yeah, is this... they use the same song. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Because it was like, <laughs> it was like a completely different game now. Because like it was more like a, I don't know what you would call that music before, but <laughs> yeah, didn't it? <laughs> wasn't it's actiony, it. very action like. <laughs> yeah. And this is just like pumping it up now. Definitely. Yeah, and I always love the song from the NES version. And the Genesis didn't have any of the NES songs. No. But yeah, like uh, th they must have been working in in um. So it was all developed by Sunsoft as well. So they had the opportunity to reuse stuff. So it's yeah. cool they at least reused the song. Everything else is like completely different from the Batman movie games. And this one was, we've been playing, playing chronologically. I think this also came out like maybe a month after the Genesis one, so not long after. But the NES one I think was released like three or four months before it. I can't remember. Where have I not been? Oh no, I got hit. When you're invincible, whenever you respawn, it's here. So that's kind of cool. The uh, I'm gonna say top left, maybe? Top left, okay. Uh, like hitting walls or anything. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, yeah, that's it. There you go. The audio kind of reminds me of a Genesis game a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's just a song again. Cool. <laughs> And it's like that zhoom, the sound it did. Oh, cool. It'd be cool if the PC Engine was able to do like, fog or shot, you know, like a cool like, fog effect or something. Yeah. Just to kind of add some atmosphere. And it'd be cool if it was... Where is this supposed to be? Did it say? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> is this the museum already? Uh, I guess this is supposed to be the museum. Gotham City. It just keeps saying Gotham City, so it's like... <laughs> Whenever we'll, we'll, ever, we'll ever like leave to another location. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're like obviously in some sewer here. That one's going fast. I don't like that a little bit. And I think whenever you die, you lose your um, yeah your power up. So. Yeah, the whole running into them just feels so much like Pac-Man to yeah. me. I do like it, but I, I like Pac-Man a decent amount for, you know, what it is. Yeah. But I do, I don't know, I do like how I'm not so powerless like in Pac-Man. I mean, it's cool to be powerful whenever you get the power pellet. Yeah. But it's nice to not have to run most of the time. Oh crap. Yeah, I lost my cool abilities. Oh wait, I still have them. Maybe it's the after the continue. Whenever we lose all our lives. Oh no. Oh crap, they have guns. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> uh, they Yeah, I guess they respawn where the last place you killed them, so that's... Oh no. Gotta ask them kind of stupid. Alright, that, now I got hard. The, the difficulty curve kind of went yeah. up. <laughs> Alright, let's see where it puts us. Alright, that's good. I think it's the same stage at least. Just have to recollect everything. So only nine yeah, things once. So I seem like it seems like oh. Oh crap, yeah, it's so much harder when it's because yeah. the distance and the speed. Yeah. 
so L, I think, is um, the link to the throw. I think. Me, uh, I actually did find a website of a of an English speaker who wrote some in, in manual, a sort of a manual on it, on a web page. So I'll find that. Remember what that star does. Oh, it makes you invincible. That's what it is for a, for a limited time. I don't know how you can tell when it's about to wear out. Okay, it's about to wear out when it starts. That's cool. When it's just the blinking reduces frequency. Okay, so yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's. Yeah, so this is one part, it's just really hard. It's just like a different route. Did you beat it? Yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> now it's a different song again, cool. Okay, so then it's City. cars. <laughs> now it's a little bit of frog here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. With the wa I like the walk, uh... And be not, don't walk. <laughs> does, and the, does the traffic obey that? Is it actually listen? I, no, it doesn't no, seem to. Mean. That'd be cool it if it did. Yeah, it doesn't hurt the enemies if it's safe. That sucks. <laughs> oh man, that's, <laughs> that's not good. How are you supposed to dodge that? Here you go. Sounds like a. Uh, Oh, fancy sound effect. Kind of what kind of sound effect? Uh, like a Final Fantasy. Effect. Oh, yeah. Just like, continue, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, wow. Something to do, I guess. Oh, and that's the fact they don't get hurt, that sucks. So, try to... Oh, jeez, it shoots so fast. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to dodge, or I guess you have to yeah, <laughs> anticipate. To it, like, I was trying to, like, peek around the corner, so he shot, and I ran at him, but he shot, like, right as I got to him. So. That sucks. I guess I'm going to pause for a like, second, power, so. and then open up the manual, because I can't seem to find it, and that way we'll have access to it. But it's at... Uh, Let's see this website, Retro Mageddon. <laughs> is what pull it up here. So yeah, you can, you can take a look at this if you're interested. So faster battle rings, multiple battle rings, range, boots, clock, bomb, and star. Yeah. And what does that box do? The uh, boxes. That might just be one of the one things you collect or something to get the the bomb. Maybe it's a bomb that you have to collect in the first stage. Right. Other kinds of arrows. Yeah, I didn't really say. Probably one of the bombs, like the chemical, how there's like the chemical canisters. Yeah. Ah oh, man, he is fast. Yeah, and he comes straight at you when you're like playing or in this like this. Oh wow, I somehow didn't get hit, but now I got hit. <laughs> this is tough. 
At least the continues seem to be infinite. Yeah. I so. wonder how many stages there are if it's like just like an endless. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have an idea of how many. Um, if you want me to spoil the fun? <laughs> uh, no, we can. <laughs> You'd be surprised, I guess. Yeah, I really like that walk and don't walk if it actually stopped traffic. <laughs> I wonder if they had that idea and they just ran out of time. <laughs> or if they just wanted to max out the difficulty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this isn't a quarter muncher, like... It's like they have some developers who used to making arcade games or whatever, and they're like, we must kill the player to try to get more money out of them. Yeah, it's, yeah it's that impossible. timing is hard. Especially like that you can't move when you go to better place. So it's like, it's to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's take a hit and, and then, yeah, just run, run into him, I guess. <laughs> nice, at least you beat it. Alright, I gotta beat one of these stages now to yeah, this seems make like up for it. This would be more suited for, like, the Flash or something, who actually runs around a lot. Oh, that'd be cool. That would feel better. Like, I, I want to go faster, yeah. Like, especially when you start out without any of the, of the boots. Ability, you're just so, it's just so slow. And, it, and it, I mean, it makes sense, like, you're Batman and you kind of get to the bombs, but, like, that's something like the Flash would be doing, like, running around everywhere, like, all parts of the city just searching for bombs oh, no. and whatnot. Yeah, I agree. That'd be cool. Yeah, I guess only have one life, so continue. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I noticed, like, we were, like, We've done a, quite a few Batman games, and there's still quite a few left, but we don't really have a lot of other DC character games. It has like some Superman games here and there. Mm -hmm. It's not like Wonder Woman or Flash games or Aqu Well, I guess it was an Aquaman game. <laughs> At least one uh, Aquaman game. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what was the story behind that one again? It's uh, on the tip of my... I don't remember. Because I, because I, I originally was thinking just of the Silver Surfer one, which oh, is Mar yeah. which is not, <laughs> it's Marvel. But uh, I can't, I don't know if I'm familiar with the Aquaman one. I want to say it was like either, it's like PS2 or original Xbox. Or maybe, oh, okay. Maybe not the generous. PS1 era. That's probably why I'm not familiar with it. Yes, yeah, notoriously bad. <laughs> like is it as bad as Superman? Yeah. <laughs> Have you really? played Superman 64? I can't no, remember. No, I have not. I've seen it, no, no, that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there have been at least a couple. Oh, cool. Going in a cool. bomb destroys every, or every enemy. Yeah, that's the first time we found it, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Oh, yeah, interesting, it won't let me oh, you step off the you curb. Have to use crosswalk? Yeah. <laughs> Batman yeah, can't. as if that's any safer. Batman can't jaywalk, I guess. But yeah, but it's, it's I mean, like it's the traffic safer, yeah. <laughs> doesn't obey, so why should I obey the law? I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Annie is a gosh. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, and you couldn't have seen him until you got. It was still <laughs> too late. And of course, like he has guy, a gun. Yeah. No, oh, wow, it was quick, like, quick on the draw there. Yeah. Yes, I beat a stage when the layer stage is. I feel good about myself. Alright, nice. This sounds kind of like Seinfeld or something yeah, for that part. Like that. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder if they, like, when did Seinfeld come out? Um, uh, 90, 95? Yeah. Possibly 89, I don't know. And this was released in 90. It'd be, <laughs> I, I don't think they would have been inspired by that. But it's just always interesting with Japanese, like, their interpretation of American culture is just always interesting. <laughs> yeah. 
the Japanese have done better than I than the the British, in my opinion, with Batman games. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, they have they had the advantage of having a few years of advancement, but not too many years because the Amiga Batman game we played, Batman, the video, the Batman the movie, <laughs> what that one was called, that one wasn't that was only like a half a year or, or a year before NES version. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I hate how you have to stay still when you throw the battering, I guess. Yeah, it's when you go. I guess that makes some sense. Alright, so we're back. I realized that I ran a hard drive space. <laughs> so we're gonna just continue where we left off so you missed part of the recording, part of the action packed fun that we've been having. But we are on the second world, right? The museum. Yeah. So the right. last level of the second world, or I don't, I actually don't know if it's the last yeah. level. <laughs> yeah. So that's showing up there. Cool. All right. All right. Let's speed it. Let's go. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I mean, one of the main things that have been been really annoying us is that they've added so many warps to the uh, levels now. And it just makes it really uh, feel bad. And also the sound effect just... <laughs> <laughs> and we were saying, like, the main thing... So the music is... We were saying the music was good, pretty decent. Pretty good. The gameplay isn't the greatest. <laughs> yeah, I can use it so we can go right. Like the battering, throwing, like if it was just projectiles and or it was you had also mentioned, I think this was in the recording. Both I think you said this in the first roll about the if it was more like uh, the original Zelda boomerang, that yeah. would have been better. If they were gonna stick with the boomerangs. Yeah, this is a trying to go Back on right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks like some of the have multiple packs. <laughs> so instead of the same one, it took me to a different spot, so. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I, I mean, surely these are based on real paintings, right? Like, they seem like they they yeah, might be, but one of them looks like Einstein to me, but it's probably somebody else. I don't know who <laughs> that portrait's supposed to be of. And there's like a ballerina. And like a sort of... Oh, wow. <laughs> I wish you're invincible whenever you respawn, whenever yeah, you drop so down. Hard. That's horrible. Yeah, I feel like this game could have been better with just small tweaks, could have kind of made things a little more bearable. <laughs> like, yeah, well, having less stages per world. Yeah, if more people have played this, maybe someone would have done a fan edit or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, <laughs> like a ROM hack? Yeah, like a ROM hack or something. But now, I don't think anyone really knows about this game <laughs> too much, so. Yeah. I always wanted, I always wanted there to be ROM hacks. Yeah, that would actually, that would edit, edit like a, what would be like a four hour or six, you know, eight hour, whatever the length of the game would be, and then edit down to like two hours and just pick the best parts. And it'd be cool if, yeah, like, like you're saying, they just removed some of the, like this stage, 
yeah. cut it out. <laughs> cut it out of the game. And then, you know, and then remove some of the annoying teleports from the other levels that you keep. No. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. He went yeah, through you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Someone went somewhere. No. Okay, one more left. Last one. No idea. Oh, thank you. Thankfully, those guys are so much slower. I just gotta figure out where to. <laughs> Where it is and how to get to it. <laughs> yeah. That's I the whole even, fun. Yeah, I can't even see where it's at. Oh, what? Nice. Okay. <laughs> they should flash or something so you know that you're gonna be invulnerable for a little bit. But I guess they didn't want you to be able to take advantage of the ability, you know, to be able to be invincible and kill people. Guess is that logic. Nice. Alright. <laughs> We're still yeah. still in it. Still in the game. Ah, oh, stage 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you stretch this one out. Uh yeah, if you start getting if you still need if you get bored, we can always use passwords to skip ahead. I'm okay I mean, I, so far. I wanna see uh, this is what uh, I want to see the next world, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take to get to the next world, so... Yeah, if, if they so keep... I'm hoping... I know! I, man, and I was so powered up, too. Yeah. So I'm thinking, uh, hopefully this teleportation thing just for the museum, and then the next world does not have that. <laughs> but, who knows? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, there are some boots at the bottom left. Yeah, yeah that's so good, at least. I don't know how much timer we add. It's... Yeah, I didn't. Did a whole minute, I think. I guess. Yeah, we never had a problem with time yet. Yeah. And there doesn't seem to be too many songs in the game, right? Maybe yeah, if we encounter like, like three? Or? Yeah, it seems like there's three, maybe four. Yeah, it might like be three. Yeah, they could have had a little more variety. Yeah, and it's weird, it's just kind of... Oh. <laughs> it seems like it's just kind of random, the music. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like... Yeah, like, there's no logic to it when they use which track. As far Which as is kind of okay, since, cause, I mean, since this level is, what, 12, this world is 12 levels, if you listen to the same song for 12 levels, then yeah, definitely would have got sick of it. <laughs> and this doesn't feel like, so the last world, yeah, Gotham had more variety, like with the traffic levels and then the, yeah. the sewer levels and the... Yeah, and this just took <laughs> ...ball museum. Yeah, and I guess they had some levels that I guess were supposed to be like back alleys or something. The first level world. Yeah. Yeah, it was like back alleys and, and cross walks and then uh, sewers. Yeah, this seems mostly the same. And I felt like it only had only had 10 levels or something, right? Yeah, the first one was like. 10 or 9, but this is like 12. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's kind of overstaying its welcome there. Oh no, and they're longer, of course. But yeah, that too. And that's, harder. That's, hopefully, that's the, the last stage uh, of that. Yeah. Yes. We're going to see another cool, cool yeah, cutscene. Yeah, the cutscene's pretty good, but getting to them is like. <laughs> Cool. Oh yeah, there we go. She got a wall. <laughs> yeah, that's a much better pro. We've seen this. Yeah, we've seen this in all the. Is is was this in all the games? I 
I think they portrayed it in at least two I of the other say, ones. Yeah. The NES one for sure. And I, that one's the best portrayal, I think. The best yeah. cutscene version of it. So good job, P PC oh, version. Alright, what is that? Uh, okay, yeah. I have to place the... Bombs? Uh, now it's the ops, now I have to place the... <laughs> Where did you well, place it? Where was a world? Did it even say? Uh, I probably missed it. I think yeah. it did. It'll, yeah, it'll just... tell us yeah. again. I think this is the chemical factory. Yeah, yeah. Access to the so you're trying to destroy the chemical factory I for some strange so. reason? I don't remember. What was the plot of the movie again? <laughs> so short and it's so slow. At least you have two, I guess, but... Alright, two more X's. Too bad. What is Batman doing? Yeah, it's just what is he doing placing these bombs or yeah. whatever? Are we the bad guy now? <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine what else it would be. The radio is a spy on <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> yeah, again, your idea about being able to to throw and then look the other way and then throw and then, you know, that would have been good. Yeah, I wish there were more songs. Like, uh, I really need, like, music variety. Yeah. Destroy it. <laughs> 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 Alright, so the last one, I think you passed it on the left. Yeah. On the left? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no blonde guys, right? Or I haven't seen any yet. I'm sure they'll tear up in a yeah. second or a level later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as long as there's no running guys, that's not as bad. Maybe it's giving us a little bit of breather. Yeah, there here they are. <laughs> In the next stage of the teleporters, man. <laughs> oh no, don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's interesting to think that, like, if this only had, I don't know, say something ridiculously short, like three or four levels of world or something, or maybe, yeah, three, I think yeah, I'd actually I felt, like it better. Yeah, I felt nine was kind of pushing it already. Like, nine would have been enough. Yeah. For each one, and then it's like 12. 12 <laughs> is just way too many. It's like taking the new, it's like modern day idea where you have to just pad the content of your game out past, way past this welcome. So do you have any, what are your, 
Um, what do you think of the new Batman that's coming out, like, based oh. on the trailers? Uh, I haven't seen any trailers yet. You haven't? Yeah. yeah. There was one, oh, I think I've only seen one trailer. Um, like yeah. a teaser a while ago that they did. Yeah, I've seen some images. It looks pretty... It looks alright. Yeah, it's like an emo Batman, kind of. It's the way he kind of seems. Yeah. Recent. I mean, yeah, because it looks like he's, uh, like, they're just they starting him off, like, not so much as Batman Begins, but, like, definitely, like, a mm -hmm. beginner Batman. Yeah. But, yeah, I like the, I like the fact that they're going to at least focus... It's supposed to be more like a, a detective movie. Oh, that's cool. Instead of like... Oh, uh, uh, no. Cause yeah, like... Uh, the Dark Knight movies, they went pretty brutal, which in a good way. And then like... Mm -hmm. The newer ones, the Batfleck... Batfleck... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah, the action's pretty up there, but... They're yeah. trying to make it it's not a standalone... Like, I guess... Yeah, I guess it's not the first... That would be like the first not standalone Batman universe since he's kind of tying in with all the other Justice League movies and whatnot. Right. Yeah, and so that's why that's what didn't appeal to me about. Yeah, they kind of that. shift focus a little bit. I just that's want it. I just want Batman with uh, so I'm glad that they're gonna focus on him again. Ah uh, no, and that was your last life. Yeah. And then, um... Well, yeah, I mean, if we would have got a true Batman movie with Batflick... Yeah, that would have that would been interesting. I don't hate his portrayal of Batman. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see him on his own. Like, he's only been in movies with other characters, so it's like... Yeah, I... I want to see him, like, on his own, doing his own thing. Really, it's just the writing, like, I don't know, or having to combine... I mean, I've only seen Batman vs. Superman of the... So I can't really judge it very well. <laughs> that one is just bad. Yeah. Or at least not my taste of <laughs> what I want from a Batman movie. Did you um, see the? Have you watched any of the E3 stuff yet? Uh, yeah, I watched the uh, summer game. Oh stuff. yeah, that open. I just went to the ones that I lo were interested in. Right. I haven't seen. Uh, I watched all the ones. I went through them all except for Elden Ring. I haven't oh, seen that. That was one stupid. Yet. Yeah. Then Ubisoft had their conference today. Oh. Did you watch that yet? Yeah. There was one Nintendo I, yeah, one that see, you may have heard of. Yeah, that, I did see some stuff on Twitter, so... So you know about it? Yeah, though, it was Mario and Rabbit. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> I, still didn't, I, didn't, I never played the first one. It's okay, yeah, I, 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 have, like I a, have it. Yeah, I played a demo, I think, and that was, yeah, was fine. Yeah, like, they I, didn't need a sequel, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> it, was good, it was good on its own for what it was. Um, but I don't think anyone was really wanting it. I mean, I'm sure there's some people wanted a sequel, but... But yeah, they had like the intro cutscene or whatever in the trailer they showed today. Man, this is hard. Yeah. <laughs> I think give it one more go. One more go, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we might have to look up the passwords. Uh, okay, so we went to Gotham, the museum, now we're and in the, the Axis the factory, so I assume the last world will probably be the last, the next world will probably be the last one, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you would hope. Maybe there's something in between. I can't remember. I think, I think there might be something in between. I think I saw like so I on GameFAQs when I saw yeah. the password list. I yeah. think. There might have been. So I don't think I don't think it'll be like the skies of Gotham because <laughs> this yeah. game. So I don't think they did the skies of Gotham in this one, but I don't remember for sure. Street level or something. Oh, I, I know what it was. You return back to Gotham. Yeah, that's what I figured. 
experience level. Yeah, this is dumb. They put this power way over here. <laughs> yeah. Time. You will destroy that guy, and that's it, probably. Yeah. It's... <laughs> So one thing, you know, we could do whenever, like, uh, there's some cheat codes that we could use on the emulator side that would make it, like, a little less annoying. Like, one was the infinite lives, so that oh, so we, have we wouldn't lose our power-ups, and plus we would just, we're just spam, we could spam through <laughs> the levels, but uh, we can keep playing this style until we want, you know, until either of us just like, I'm done, <laughs> fed up with it, let's just go through it. the rest with the, uh, with the infinite lives. Alright, this guy's a gun, right? I yeah, or I don't remember. Yeah, oh, that's like, gonna... yeah, you can't, yeah, there's no way to get past him. Yeah, I think I'm trying to go around, maybe. Yeah, I that's guess. the only way. Or you'd have to sacrifice one life. And there's an X there, okay. Up in the this is good. The other ones were like an hour, t the last one was an hour only. And then this, the NES one was probably like an hour and a half long. Yeah. This is way longer than any of them. <laughs> Everybody stretches for now. That's it. Yeah, that's what I need there. What does the L do again? The uh, length yeah. of the throw. Yeah. There's gotta be a way. Right? I think I can. I guess not. I guess yeah. he has to get lose one life. Well, I got the link to upgrade some of that might help. Maybe. Speaking of Bomberman, did you ever play a uh, Bomberman Act Zero? <laughs> oh no, have you? Yeah, I ran in it. I played it like maybe less than an hour. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> did you did you ring out of morbid curiosity? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think I, I think when I had like a game slice subscription or something, I think I Yeah, had, that's great. Yeah, it's Man, you pretty much have to lose life there. Where's this guy? Nice. Yeah, that was, that was just like the worst reboot I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it only lasts an hour, that's pretty bad. It's the last one. So one more? Yeah. Alright, I guess on maybe it? up there. Oh, no. Nice. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, I don't even know where the last one is anyway, so I'll have to backtrack, so whatever. <laughs> you want to switch over to the emulation? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see it. I guess I'll pause to make this more elegant. Stop recording. I guess there isn't a pause recording. There is with some conditions, but I'm not sure why I don't see it here. Okay. Alright, 
so now we're switching over to desktop. Still recording. Cool. Turn that down. <laughs> Alright, it's this controller down there. Now we can, I think if I do the end on this one, we can actually see the password. Here's the pass. So Joker looking down, Batman looking right, and then Joker looking left, both and for the last two slots. Yeah. Good old passwords. <laughs> Good old days, <laughs> I guess. All right, what we can do is, so I think I already have infinite lives enabled, so. Okay. And I also have infinite time. Yeah, see how the timer's not going down? Yeah. <laughs> 308 lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't know why that specific time, but. Right, so I was trying not to miss any this time. There's no widescreen uh, emulator option uh, for PC Engine yet, anyway. Uh, I think everyone else has like a mustache. He, had a, he has a mustache, that character? Like That's cool. So the monitor's a little bigger than the TV screen. This, this one? Oh, I got this one up, though. Yeah, I don't know which one I was missing. Luckily, there's like hidden pathways for it. That would, well, I say that now, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe the next world will have all kinds of hidden passes we'll have to go through. Yeah, let's see. This filter is a bit sacrilegious, I know, with the how it like rounds out everything. Yeah. But, yeah. This figure, it's nice to have a completely different aesthetic than the yeah. other one, just just uh, for the hell of it. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. With, uh, and then we can also disable um, any cheat we want to if we were wanted to add challenge back. <laughs> like if we were like, okay, now we haven't played this stage. Let me see if I actually, let me see how that would work in theory. So I can, so there's also this cheat code. So select and A will like cycle between cheat codes. I don't think a stage, I couldn't get the stage select one to work, and then the rumble, this is a, this controller doesn't have rumble support. But yeah, invincibility. Yeah. This this one doesn't make you invincible until... Oh, oh I had the... That's what it was, the turbo's on. Uh. <laughs> and that's why we saw the message a billion times. But yeah, this one makes you invincible for whenever, you, after you die, and you just can run into uh, them. Okay. So if we really just, like, have had it, we can just do this one and just really cheat. Oh, but I'll turn that one back off. 
And then um, there's freeze times on, leave that on, and if it lies, I'll turn it off just, just for the heck of it. We can turn it back on when you want. I don't know why I'm doing that. And I think we have the rewind will work, let's see. Yeah, so we have rewind as well. Yes. The perspective is kind of hard to tell. Yeah. That's a tall wall. Yeah, he does have like a beard or something. That blonde guy, or you say, oh, he has like, he also has like sideburns, yeah, right? Yeah, munchops. <laughs> yeah, munchops, that's what it is. And does he have like red sunglasses? Uh, it's probably hard to tell because the filter. I think that's his nose, he's like a Yosemite Sam type of. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably guy. it. And of course, the filter is making a creative interpretation of it too. Oh, it's up there. And there's on there, too. How do I get up there? I think, uh, go back up to the left, and then take a right. No, yeah, right there. No, yeah. Take a right there. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I didn't... Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that the perspective was... I was thrown off somehow. Did I get an extra life? Is yeah, that what that thumb so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. I had the extra lives turned off for the infinite lives. So, so we've had wall jumps, we've had yeah, well, double jumps, and grappling hooks. Where were the, what, the which one had double jumps again? Uh, the Genesis one. Had a, the, 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 flip, the flip, at least. Yeah. yeah. The double flip thingy. Yeah. And you and had to do that to make long jumps. Yeah. Otherwise you'd die. And then the grappling hook, which was not grappling hook. But at least it was there. And this one has no jumping or nothing. Just, just running and battery. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would. Yeah, I would put this below the below the Game Boy one. Yeah. Sure. And below, I guess below the Genesis one. Although I really don't want to put below the Genesis just because. Yeah. Yeah. But I. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's like right below the Genesis for me. Yeah. yeah. Genesis one is just so disappointing. Not uh, conveyor belts, so I can't walk on that one at all. <laughs> that one just pushes me so fast. This is... Wow. You really <laughs> wanted to bomb that place. Luna. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. You see the conveyor belt? It's so like... If you're walking against it, you can't even walk at all. Yeah. But it, the one that pushes you forward, it like instantly pushes you. It's almost like a teleporter in a way. Oh, it yeah. goes so fast. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I expect them to be more, way more conveyor belts, but now it's like, I don't see any. <laughs> yet. Yeah, yes. Let's see. This one feels, this one is Pac-Man kind of layout. Yeah, definitely. Wow, this is yeah, actually say, very similar to the Pac-Man. Yeah, I would say Bomberman is mostly just squares, right? Um, yeah, it is it is uh, very grid-like, especially the earlier Bomberman games. They get a little, a little less grid-like later. later. I'm going to go feed... Uh, or put Luna to bed.
Yeah, feel free to enable infinite lives. If, if you want, like... <laughs> or, and rewind as well, and rewind to select down. So each, I wonder if each world will have more stage than the last one. I'm gonna purposely kill myself, and then oh, that yeah. way, at least have lives. Okay. Yeah, and then the fast forward is select up as fast forward. And then load states left and save states right. If we ever make a mistake, load state or save state, you can actually undo. Um, we can go to the menu and undo the mistake, basically. Oh, here's the conveyors. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> and if you walk against, you can't even walk against it at all. Slowly. Yeah. Which is weird, so. I can remember at least. Yeah. I feel, I feel like maybe the Super Barman had. Maybe where you couldn't. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, that does sound. It had conveyor belts, yeah, but I don't remember if you could. I think you could walk very slowly against them. But not not be completely stopped like this one, like you said. Did you play Mega Barman for the Genesis? Yeah, I think I played it once or twice. And that was pretty much. Oh no, <laughs> there's what we're talking about. I think Mega Barman was a port of Barman '94. Yeah, I want to see. So. Did you get any of the virtual console PC Engine games or Turbo Graphics games? Uh, I think I got Bomberman. Mm -hmm. And Bomb, maybe one yeah, of the Bomb games. Bonk. Yeah, yeah I, I wasn't really familiar with Bonk, so I would see what it was about. What did you think of Bonk? Uh, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice, short and sweet game. I liked it when I played. Oh yeah, then I got some shooters like Star Soldier or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, that I got Soldier Blade. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I got that was the one Soldier I got. Soldier Blade and another one. I guess it was Sequel or People around. Yeah, Star Soldier was the first one okay. that was released in the series, but I I I remember Soldier Blade getting a good recommendation on what was what became Nintendo Life. Uh, it was called like Wii, I can't remember what they called it at the time, but it was like WiiWare reviews or something. And they had just focused on Virtual Console and WiiWare games at that time. Alright, where have I not been? Bottom left. Yeah, there's one. I don't think there is. Okay, well, it's one way the way. Luckily, they can't follow you on there. Yeah, that's good. That cool. would have been unfortunate. Oh, I was worried about that. Nah. Uh, I don't know how. I guess, oh, you just uh, you have him bait yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Without touching him. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever play Braid? Yeah, I couldn't get into it. Yeah, like it's... the physics were just like I, I'm trying to. Yeah. I, I feel like I was like trying to play it too much like Mario, and it's not really yeah. Mario at all. No, it's a puzzle game. So yeah, I couldn't get into it. Yeah, yeah I, I really liked it because um, I love puzzle games uh, or that that style of 
puzzle games too. But yeah, it's definitely like if you think of it as Mario, it just doesn't hold up. But yeah, that's what I always think of when I when we do rewind. We just think of that game. The later worlds in that game get really interesting. Um, where you they really start to really start manipulating time in really crazy ways. Like um, there's one world where if you move right, it progresses time forward, and if you move left, it, it, it uh, I think goes backwards. That sounds pretty cool. I might have to, yeah, might have to pick it up again. Someday. I think I have that. Yeah. I want to say I have it on Steam. It's and it's not too long of a game. Yeah. You can I think it's probably it takes depending on the puzzle solving. Like if you if you look, you can look up some of the puzzles if, if uh, they stump stump you and it won't take as long. But I think it's probably like a I don't know an eight hour long game somewhere on there. Up to twelve hours. I want to say, yeah, bottom left area, but I'm not sure how to get over to that side. Yeah. This is where I might want to activate a cheat code. Let's see here. Let's do that. Go select B. And if it lies on. I feel like I should be able to go that way, but I guess not. No, because that conveyor belt's difficult to get on. You won't be able to get on that one, so I think you have to. Do so I have to go up here or? I think down. Down? Yeah. Which one? I'm not which sure which one. one. Camera uh, what I took a lot. I can rewind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, not that one. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what I took before. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's one at least. Go back there. Oh. You can reach it from there, so yeah. But I mean, you need to rewind. Yeah, so. yeah, keep rewinding. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that bottom one. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And then I might have been able. Uh, no, yeah, that would have been really annoying without the rewind. Yeah, you, have to you gotta time it. Oh, oh like, maybe no, what? Can't. Yeah, you gotta go. What way do you go? Sure. Well, I definitely don't want to be back here. Yeah, rewind. Oh, okay, one. I see you said, uh, you gotta go to that bottom one right there, so. Okay. It's definitely getting more maze-like now. And, yeah, I knew these two very bus when it comes to Yeah. Them. I mean, they're better than teleporters, I guess. Yeah, slightly better, yeah. for sure. There you go. Yeah, I wonder if this will have another 12 action-packed, amazingly fun... Well, it was like the last world. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, maybe with, you know, I, I was thinking turning off the infinite, infinite lives sometimes, so it wouldn't get too easy with having all the items, but I love having all the yeah. items. It makes it so much more enjoyable for the game, so. Oh yeah, there's like an infinite items cheat, you know, <laughs> the best way to do it. Yeah, I don't think there was a, there was a cheat, but we pretty much will get, will end up getting all the items maxed out pretty quickly, I think. As long as we had infinite lives enabled. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, right, I could have just. There. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I got a little video game logic where you can <laughs> just throw projectiles through and then his bullets don't go through walls. Thankfully, that would have been annoying if they did. Nice dodge. Yeah, so much better when you don't have to wait forever for the battering to get back to you. <laughs> The hit detection is kind of weird sometimes. Oh, wait, yeah, it's just so many different Sunsoft bet games. It's like, there's this one, the Genesis, the NES. There seems oh the Game, Game Boy. Boy. You, Game you Boy. mentioned you forget the Game Boy, yeah. yeah. So four Sunsoft for the Batman the movie, and then one for the all the computers, like Batman the movie yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead of Batman the video game, but it was based off the same movie. Yeah. And there was like seven versions of that yeah. or something across <laughs> yeah. computers that we played. We played a little bit of each one, or at least the ones that I could get working. Yeah, they yeah, they kind of went all out with this. <laughs> and then... Like, I haven't seen so many different versions of one... Game. Mo of one... Or move, yeah, movie, movie property. Yeah, movie this game, yeah. So, if I... So, so far, this is a fifth... You yeah. Very unique, completely unique iteration of yeah. the movie. Because, yeah. like, if you... Cause like, I'm trying to think of, like, other movie games, it's like, you can probably get, like, one console one and one portable version, and then... Yeah. Maybe, like, a mobile or mm -hmm. something that's it so three three at most and that and that's and that's going away even because now that mobile is pretty much yeah for the most part or at least like the you know 3ds isn't really a thing anymore yeah so now it's just like pure mobile yeah uh, and then and those are still a hit or miss because sometimes you get some really good mobile games and then you get like some shovelware type mm-hmm mobile stuff. Dude. What is going on here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's... he's just, what is he doing? He's just there to shoot you. <laughs> but he can't... Oh, well, like he's just you, here. Yeah, I well, see. when you go... When you get him... When well, I cross it, here, yeah. and then... You cross there, over there, he's gonna just wow. shoot you. <laughs> you can probably... Yeah, once you, you get him there, you can probably hit him, but you can't, like, take just him take out. take him out. Yeah. You can only stun. That's funny. All right, and I'm not even paying attention. My mind is like, where do I go from here? I want to say it's right. Now I'm just getting lazy because of the infinite life. Yeah, I, I was too. Oh, there's one up to the left there. The left, okay. And I guess. Man, the, this this kind of diagonal or having it to where it's not diagonal or it's I mean it's really hard because you can't aim diagonally. Yeah. Yeah, at least the pace is a lot faster when we don't have to yeah, worry about just... game overs. So. This will mess you up if I move this mouse. You know if it messes anything up. Oh, that's a new power. Is, is oh, that, wow, a Joker? Yeah. I don't so know. that one's bad, I think. Yeah, I, I, would, I would guess so, but I don't know what it actually does. Kill you or take a line? Sorry, yeah, blocking you, right. blocking your view. Um, yeah, see, I, don't I didn't know. even see it on there. Unless it's lower down on the page or something. Joker image not available. Avoid this one when possible because it will strip Batman of every bonus he has Ooh, collected, yeah. leaving him very weak. <laughs> and then I just saw a teleporter up there. So oh, let's... the fun is back. Alright. 
So on Axis Chemical Factory, Batman must plant bombs throughout each level to destroy the facility. Why is he trying to destroy yeah, the facility? What, the <laughs> what was the plot? I mean, he. I don't think he was. He was there. going. So Joker. What was he? What was? What was the plot for the factory in the movie? Do you I remember? I can't even remember, but I guess he wasn't. Why is he it there? Was the, I don't even think it was to like blow it up. Yeah. I think he was just trying to stop whoever was in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It definitely wasn't to blow it up, so. And you know, I I don't know if the person who wrote up this this manual speaks Japanese, so they yeah, might have just be some guests. Yeah. That they're planning bombs. That was that was our guest too. I mean, what else could he be doing? <laughs> nice, that's cool. So the last new element they added to this game, which is the conveyor belt. And then, man, they're getting really annoying with their diagonals right now. <laughs> this is really bad. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely not trying to, he's just trying to stop the gas Jack? from raining it, yeah. Yeah. What were they doing? What, what was their objective then, you know? Like what the bad guys were doing and uh, what Jack... Yeah, it doesn't say exactly on the Wikipedia, but... Yeah, we're so fast. Probably gonna be some stuttering from what I'm gonna do next, but. Slow motion. Slow motion effect. Messing up your controls, I know it's messing up the uh, audio. Yeah, these are just saying so we haven't seen a new enemy. Since. Yeah, since the museum, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I mean, the blonde first, guys. Yeah, the first stage was clowns, and then the second, yeah, from then on, it was the museum. These two these guys. guys. And yeah, there hasn't been any new enemy type since. And then there was the shooting guys, I yeah. guess. The shooting guys were also the museum, right? That yeah. was when they, or no, they introduced them at the, near the end of World 1 when they started shooting. Oh, yeah, they were shooting clowns, yeah. Okay, I'm a little lost here. Tank. Yeah, 
Yeah. Huh. Yeah, there's three left. They're over there, but I don't know how to... No, it's right. I was already over there, so... Gosh. Yeah, it's definitely a maze. Wait, I thought I saw a red one over there. Was there? Yeah, I saw it. Was it blocked off? I think it's on a lower level. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think I went up. And you went up this area? I think so. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So a little bit. Man, this is tricky. Yeah. Charging Chuck. Can you imagine how it would have been if we like, if we like, uh, basically insisted that we would only we would play every Batman game and we would not do any cheats and we oh, would go man. all the way through. No. <laughs> the first Batman that. game it would have destroyed. Even yeah. the very first one it would have destroyed us. Yeah. <laughs> We would have just like stopped there and we're like, no Batman ever again. <laughs> and this was a similar one. If we had tried, because yeah, we could we could do with the passwords. We could have we could definitely this would be doable, but we could just our patience would have really been tested. And, it was like and we'd have had to split it across several days. Yeah, <laughs> it would definitely be more of an ordeal. Oh, the balloons. Yeah, the balloons. Oh, so I'm guessing it's a... <laughs> I like the cat balloon. The baby balloon. Alright, that's some... Oh yeah, now it's back to clowns again in the chorus. So. In the museum, in the movie, that weren't they clowns as well, or dressed up as clowns when they raided the museum, or was it just like hooligan dressed up as hooligans with boomboxes? I don't remember anymore. Yeah, I think it's just a uh, hooligans. I want to say. Yeah. Doug Fairbank Senior. So much pollution from these toxic balloons going into the atmosphere and <laughs> it's just diluting the diluting the poison gas, but still. Yeah, a little more reckless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to use a sub for you, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Batman. Batman poster. Did you like watching special features of some movies and stuff? Yeah, they're pretty interesting most of the time. Yeah. I, uh, I did it before I went to do filmmaking. I would watch, like that's what kind of got me interested. <laughs> Just watching some behind the scenes stuff. Oh, they have Stanley. Yeah, <laughs> talking. Oh, really? What's? He's not even. Well, did he do DC for a time? I don't remember. No, he did. Yeah, out the camera did. 
Yeah, I mean, they've done some collaborations, but mm -hmm. I don't think he, yeah, he never fully went. Yeah. It was, uh, what's his name? Um, Jack Kirby, who went. Now, who'd that would go back between the two? Yeah, well, I think he mostly, for the most part, I think he would start off at Marvel, then he, for several years, or mm -hmm. a decade, maybe, then he went to DC. I think he stuck with DC. After he switched, yeah, he I defected. Ever, yeah, I don't think he ever went back. Defected yeah, there's a whole side. thing. Yeah, there's a whole thing that like diehard Jack Kirby fans are like Marvel screwed him over, blah blah blah. Oh, uh. <laughs> because yeah, like yeah, the Stanley gets a lot of gets a lot of uh, recognition, and yeah, Jack Kirby doesn't get a lot. But and even though he did a lot of work, but uh, according to interviews, or at least. Uh, from Lee's Tim Lee's point of view, he didn't really want the spotlight anyway. Mm, yeah, Not everyone does. So. I mean, he still got plenty of recognition, even with yeah. even without, you know, even with Stan Lee kind of hogging some of it. And yeah, I'm glad some of the other guys came around, who came, uh, came around later, getting some recognition too. Yeah, you know, cool. they're lesser known than Stan Lee or mm -hmm. Jack Kirby. Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that was an easier level. Man. Yeah, and the one I played too was an easy level. I mean, maybe they were, just, we're infinite maybe, lives and yeah. we're fully powered up. Oh, there goes the cars again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are fully powered up. But maybe they're like trying to give us a break. <laughs> like if they got this far in the game. <laughs> yeah, well, if we didn't have the infinite lives, oh, it would have been so much harder not yeah. being fully powered up. For sure. But yeah, it makes the game much more enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. It's like, was it Batman Forever when we had all the gadgets? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that cheat code is essential to be able to use all of them. Because it was a... Was it a Game Genie code or was it a, a push button code? I think it was a Game Genie code. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that one makes... That's essential to enjoy that game. Yeah. Rocket boots and the Holly. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, no, I thought it was still invincible. That was dumb. Foaming battering, yeah. Where have I not been? Yeah, I wonder if we'll ever get to see actual Robin in the movie again. Because I would they teased think. him. They teased him in Batman vs Superman. But, oh really? Yeah. I don't remember that like part. It's, but it's I didn't pay like attention. A, yeah, oh. just a costume, like a ruined costume in the Batcave that has like Joker graffiti all over it. Oh, that's cool. Miss that detail. I don't get, oh, is it a it stupid might have warp? Been an extended version, maybe. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. A stupid warp thing. I didn't realize. Was, oh, I didn't realize that was a warp. And one part of him was the vicious killer. It put me right in the middle of the street. That's messed <laughs> up. I can't. I can't help the crosswalk. That's hilarious. I can see it. Yeah. yeah it's like, it's like, yeah. Um. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is teaching children good lessons. I was thinking the same thing earlier. Ah, 
Oh no. <laughs> I guess we'll war back, but. Yeah, it feels good to be able to sail through these levels. Yeah. It's interesting how they have Kevin Smith as, uh, it's like, ever since Clerks, he's like, anything geek related, he's like the expert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was like the host of, uh, they, when they had the, uh, big, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, he was, uh, hosting an after show. Mm -hmm. thingy. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. He was in something recent I was, I was watching, too. Yeah, I think he had a cameo in one of the animated movies, too. Yeah. Like an actual speaking role. I was like, yeah, he's just all up in there. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him in any, any Marvel movies, though. Or any Marvel things, really. That would be interesting if they cast him as a, you know, yeah, as a yeah. side character of some sort. Yeah, I want to say I... I want to say maybe he has. It feels like he's probably had a cameo. Like maybe a small one. I think he's cameo like in the new Star Wars, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what he was, was Yeah, it? yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob like walk past in the background of Episode Nine, I think. Oh, really? Cool. I only like, seen like that a one. blink and miss at the moment. That's fun. And they're actually dressed as Shay and Silent Ball. Yeah. Maybe a little more Star Wars y, but yeah. Yeah. You can tell, you can tell it's them, like. Right. I mean, you're seeing if they're like wearing the, the baseball caps. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah, that, would that, would, that would probably would have felt Star Wars. I want to say, yeah, he, he's directed some of the episodes of television shows, the DC television shows. So, oh, yeah, really? That's cool. And I think he, I think he was wanting to like direct one of the Star Wars. Sh uh, shows like uh whenever before they had the oh, yeah. disney rights had bought it they were gonna make that star wars that live action star wars show oh yeah I did. I think I did. And they had many that. scripts and i think he was one of the he was at least rumored to well that's how uh, yeah that'd probably be cooler than quentin tarantino doing star trek so. <laughs> yeah it's, did did that get canceled officially? I'm not sure. It might just be a development hell. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I still, I don't know. I I always still, I want to see a Tarantino. Star yeah, it'll be interesting to see, but I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> like no one's asking for it. No one asked for it, but like, I'm yeah, fine with yeah. it. Yeah, I would definitely love yeah, to see that. Yeah, be different. So, yeah. I'd rather have it than another J.J. Abrams Star Trek or True. something. Even though, yeah. you know, I thought he did good with the, you know, there were, the first one was good. Yeah. It was just Star Wars, you know. Yeah. And then it did something different. It kind of rejuvenated Star Trek, which it needed. Yeah. Even though I, you know, it kind of ruined it in some ways too, but. <laughs> yeah, it kind of, kind of a double-edged sword. Of yeah. Yeah, and, it, and there's not too many people getting saying that in Star Wars and Star Trek movies, so... <laughs> Is that... Yeah. I'm so yeah, I was saying, because, yeah, he's... He did the Star Trek reboot, and then he did the Star Wars new trilogy. Yeah, and, I was uh, just so disappointed when he was... announced as director of Force Awakens, I was like... Yeah. I, it's like he'll do an okay job, but he, you know, they we don't need JJ Abrams doing both like, yeah. major sci fi. Yeah, he's doing franchise. some other, yeah, he's doing a lot of good franchise, like a lot of popular franchises nowadays. What other ones has he done? I can't again? remember, but I want to say, yeah, I can't remember up top of my head. I'm sure it's like something, not Jurassic Park or something on that level. He's been producing stuff too. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Then I was a Joss Whedon. Got to do yeah. Avengers and Justice League. Yeah, that that was unnecessary too. So that no one really liked. A lot of people didn't like the second 
Avengers too much. <laughs> and then no. no one, then, especially since the Snyder cut of Justice League comes out, everyone hates the Joss Whedon version now. Yeah. <laughs> Even more than it did before. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, then he's got some, he's got some bad stuff about him going around too, so that didn't help. Yeah, that did not help for sure. Yeah, why? Well, it's just, Hollywood just wants to, they don't like risk, you know, because it's such big budget movies, so they yeah. think they can avoid it by just getting a director who's done something similar. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, then James Gunn, the Guardians of the Galaxy, then Suicide Squad. Yeah. And yeah, they just basically, <laughs> they basically just turn whatever they have for Suicide Squad into Guardians of the Galaxy. It's just like yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, because to... there's Hopefully plenty of good better, filmmakers but... out there that that could be an interesting take on superhero. Yeah, then they movies. yeah the whole thing about what Edgar Wright and Ant Man that was that's bad. What was that? Okay. So like he uh, they had uh, Edgar Edgar Wright was doing uh, Ant Man and mm -hmm. then like. He he uh, left part way because they oh. didn't let, they didn't want him they didn't let him do what he wanted his his original vision of the movie oh. so I think he still gets some he still gets credited on it but like he left because he, he did not get creative control so Marvel's yeah. Marvel scene Marvel has such an iron grip on like yeah. what what the vi overall vision I mean they're very cohesive for yeah. a reason. And yeah, you can you can definitely tell like the earlier movies are like they're kind of basic, but they're kind of unique. But then like after some point, it's like they get formulaic real fast. Yeah. But not they don't get terrible, but they definitely get into that. Once they find that groove, they just kind of stick to that groove, and it's like yeah, yeah. they don't want to take any risks and deviate from the. And it's both a great thing and a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. It's much more consistent than DC movies for that reason, but yeah. But yeah, they're still pretty good because, like, yeah, everything they've been putting out is still good. Like, like I said, I don't really care for Loki, but so far in the first episode, it's like, yeah, that it seems pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and then all the other shows were good, so mm -hmm. it's just gonna keep getting. <laughs> this is gonna be good, but not. Yeah. Not. Not, not as. Really I guess uh, surprising, yeah. or well, I don't know, like like um, Wandavision. Yeah, there's just be some good twist and whatnot, and but yeah, they're not very super unique. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I feel like DC just trying not to be like Marvel takes. It's a little too far sometimes, trying to be unique, and then they kind of fall on their face. <laughs> yeah. But whenever it does work, it, it's it's a nice, pleasant surprise and stuff. Like uh, for DC, I mean, I I just know Wonder Woman is really good. The first one. The was. first, one, yeah, the second. One. I didn't see the second one. So like, like the only reason I enjoyed it because. Me and my friends were playing a drinking game. <laughs> yes. So it's like. Yeah. What well, what was the what were what, when would you drink like? I want to say like when someone says Wonder Woman or <laughs> she like yeah. or she slams her bracelets together or whatever mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I can't remember, I can't even remember all of them, but yeah. <laughs> like even <laughs> when we were drinking, we could tell like yeah, this is not good. Yeah. The first one was so good. I mean, yeah, it was I wouldn't great. say like it set the bar it's too high because like this this one still the second one still could have been decent, but it was just bad. <laughs> it was just bad. Yeah. That's disappointing. Yeah, the trailer didn't look too interesting to me. So yeah, there's a lot of ups and downs. It's like Batman yeah, vs Superman is kind of mixed. Man of Steel was mostly good. The first Justice League was kind of man. Zack Snyder one was way better. Mm -hmm. Aquaman was okay. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Shazam was. I forgot that that Shazam was... was pretty good. I mean, it's more of an action comedy, so it is pretty good for. When that. was Shazam? When? What? Uh, when was the Shazam comic released? Or what? 
like the original one. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to say it's originally before DC, but then I think they bought his company. Oh, really? Yeah, I want to say it was like before DC, or maybe at the same time as DC started in mm -hmm. the 40s or whatever, 20s maybe? I can't remember <laughs> when DC started. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah they definitely like bought like, that comic company and just like decided to put his character in the DC. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. And that was what was it aired on Amazon, right? Or the same? No, no, that's the movie. And then there was, yeah, I get like various comic book uh, uh, things mixed up because I haven't seen them or you know the comics. There's Shazam, which it, yeah, I haven't seen. Like that came out like three years ago, right? Yeah. And uh, they released other movies as well, like. Or, or based on the IP, or? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah. We have Planning of Sam 2. Yeah, I think we did start filming. Right? Mm. I need to make the second Joker. I still see that first one either. Uh, yeah, I want to see that one. See, that one seems interesting. That's, yeah. when, that's when it pays off to where they don't have to match, like, you know, a cinematic universe, or ha like have it as strict of rules. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that DC is kind of not sticking to one cinematic universe. Like, yeah. You just have standalone movies or whatever they want to do, which is cool. What? <laughs> that was weird. How do I get to that one? I've been here, right? So now we need to walk through walls, cheat. <laughs> yeah, I just need to get to that one. That's the last one. All right. Wow. I want to say if you stand still when you press. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I spawned on. Yeah, I want to say when you first land on it, you yeah, stand still. I think you're invincible. That's cool. I think because it, it was that way. It seemed for for you, yeah. Uh, and him hunting him down or coming across him, and the, the fact that he's killing. People. Yeah, I, I'm surprised I haven't seen the Joker. Yet. Yeah, I haven't seen it because yeah, I'm not a big fan of Joker. I mean, yeah. I like some portrayals. Like I like the Jack Nicholson and I like the Heath Ledger. Mm -hmm. You like Mark Hamill? Yeah, Mark Hamill for sure. But yeah. But as having a having as a central focus. Yeah, as a, as a central yeah without character, Batman. without Batman or Harley Quinn, it's just like. Yeah, yeah it feels kind of yeah, it's definitely different. I'll definitely wa I should watch it. Sometime. Oh yeah, it is a Harley Quinn movie. Oh, Jesus. That one wasn't bad. There's a Harley Quinn movie? Well, it's Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey. So originally it was called Birds of Prey. Oh, that's right. That's it right. It was called Birds of Prey and that's the right. Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Then they changed it because they have some ridiculous titles, so they just changed our Birds of uh, Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey. Yeah. And I'm like, that's cool, but like, I know there's like, so many different iterations of comics and storylines and whatnot, but as far as I'm concerned, Harley Quinn doesn't really have anything to do with Birds of Prey. <laughs> <laughs> like she could have, if they wanted to have like a female friend movie, they could have had Harley Quinn and uh, uh, Gotham City Sirens, which is Harley Quinn and Catwoman and mm. Poison Ivy. No, that would be that would be better. Yeah, it feels like they just kind of shoved Harley Quinn into a Birds of Prey movie because they didn't think that Birds of Prey could stand on their own. Yeah, that's what it feels like, and I'm like, they that's could awesome. have made it more interesting, but they just have to go the Harley Quinn route. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they all have. Like, there's just some formulas they do. Like, yeah. how much do you think? How many people will this element yeah. bring in? And oh, we gotta add this. These two together. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely warming up on Harley Quinn. I didn't like her initially, like when mm -hmm. she first showed up in the cartoon. But I feel like she's a little overrated. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, when they shove you, when she's in like 
they shove her into a Birds of Prey movie and she's already in Suicide Squad movies and it's like, just come on, just give her a rest a little bit, like let some other characters shine or something. Yeah, I can Instead understand that. Instead of just shoving that. her down your uh, throats. Yeah. What would Harley Quinn be like in Christopher Nolan's Batman? <laughs> yeah, I would like, That would I would be like interesting. I would like, or even a Tim Burton one. Yeah, that would be interesting that was a little too. Bit But, yeah, because, you know, some, some, like, a character like that, in a, ser like, a serious context, you'd have, where you don't have any sort of campiness whatsoever, or any sort of, yeah. where it's, like, yeah, dark Snow, and yeah. gritty, <laughs> it's hard to make that character work. Yeah, they but that was what I thought about Bane. I was like, yeah, kinda, after, after Batman and Robin, I was like, how the hell, why did they pick Bane of all characters? Yeah, but they, like, completely changed him, so, yeah. And it yeah, worked. Dark, dark, it worked yeah. enough for well enough for me. Yeah. He's he's kind of ridiculous still with his yeah, mask, you know, with yeah, his muffled voice and yeah, stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was a, in Batman and Robin. He's just like a big grunty guy. Yeah. So like yeah, at least like if they would have left a uh, if they would have changed him so much for Dark Knight Rises, he probably would have like if they would left the luchador part, it yeah. still would have been a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea where to go. I already went down. Yeah, there's two left. Okay, so that... we get there. We have to, of course, teleport. Yeah, so there's no teleport over here, is there? Okay, there's one over here. I have a note over there. There's gonna be a teleport down here, yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> There's another cutscene. Nice. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, he does shoot down. Does he shoot down the plane in the movie? What is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> These are so well done. Yeah, that's so. Best cutscenes go to this game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh wow, this feels different. Yeah, what the? Oh wow. A boss fight. Yeah, I couldn't imagine a boss fight in this game. I didn't think it would be any boss fights. What? How do I? Yeah, I don't even. I mean, yeah, obviously you have to use the batterings, but like. What? Like, yeah, it's gotta be better. He's, it's telling you what you know, it means of attacking it all. Did he just deflect it? I don't know. Maybe it's just not obvious that he's getting damaged when I am hitting him. Yeah, he's oh, definitely he's blocking good. it. Just like when do you hit him, then? Unless we like unlocks a new power and we don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you gotta hit him when he's vulnerable. But when is he vulnerable? <laughs> Never. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I keep thinking like you know, in Link's Awakening, how you let a boss like ran into a wall or something. Yeah. And some other video games as well, of course. I don't know. I wonder if this is... I always think that there's might be a glitch with cheat, uh, but yeah. but then that ends up not being the case sometimes. You wanna give a whack? Maybe you'll do something different than I'm doing. Okay, I think you got him in the back. It's really, he doesn't really turn his back for long. Like when he, right when he lands, I think. What? That seems like it should have worked. I think I heard a different sound when I... I can't line it up now. Just help to line it up. Yeah. I can only imagine how annoying this would be if you get a game over and then... Yeah, I think I didn't... Do have any powers? Yeah, that would suck. 
maybe we're gonna have to try that, cause maybe there's some. Maybe look it up. Slow down when we do this. Flying kick thug. The first bad guy facing the cathedral will walk around the room and perform a long range flying kick when he's on the same oh. plane as Batman. You get to hit him when he's kicking, but you're, you're uh, almost likely to take damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Throw your battering at him just as he begins performing his kick and you will damage him. Don't bother attacking him while he's walking around since he'll just block the attacks. Three or four hits will end this fight. I think I gotta release his flanks. Yeah, I don't know how you do that without taking hits. Yeah. This guy's a lot easier. Uh, I'm not at sure if I'm damaging him. Uh, I'm hitting him, but... That's thing you are, I don't know. Yeah, this is, these boss fights are good too. Maybe I'm going to knock him into the hole. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's probably right. it, yeah. Yeah, good job. Puzzle solving. <laughs> Puzzle solving light. That first one was definitely more tough. Okay, then he's just joking. See, why didn't they whoa, like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is definitely different than any of the boss fights so far. No. Any of the other games. Why didn't they like space out these boss fights with yeah, like, like in the levels, one, like in one the of, worlds, yeah. Yeah, that like would have been much once. better. Even if they reuse the same like I don't know background or made it slightly like just only slightly different background or something. This is pretty awesome. I do like the background art and everything in this little. I like how he's taunting. That's really awesome. That's cool. I like the aesthetic, you know, aesthetics of this. Oh man. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this would definitely be tough. Rapid ascent, like what? <laughs> like Mega Man 2. But where's the Joker? I want to see the Joker dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, even though this last cutscene wasn't as exciting as it could have been, the other cutscenes were, were really good. Come on, Biss. Mr. CB. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> Interesting. I guess these are pseudonyms. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this music is kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you said kind of touching? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right in the feels. They should have like uh, scrapbook photos or like. Uh, just like for like all the memory, the wonderful times, just so it's like the teleporters and the treadmills. <laughs> <laughs> all the stuff we hated about the game. <laughs> Not sure what game this this credits music belongs yeah. to. It makes me think of some other... What other, what other series would that music be in? 
like some kind of RPG yeah. or something. Some fantasy type game, definitely. Did Sunsoft start in like, I guess they started in the 8 bit era? And, oh, oh, there, there we go. go. Nice. <laughs> Did they have a graphic like that in the in one of the other Batman games? Yeah, I want to say it was uh, like the same exact graphic as the Genesis one, I think. Yeah, I can't remember if it was Genesis or NES. I think it was a Genesis one. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. that the Infinite Lives made it a lot more bearable once we started to get bored. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Cool. And I guess we can watch the, uh, we'll stop the recording and then we'll watch a bit of the, see what that one dude thought. What was this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Different name, same game, different, whatever. I'll right, we'll do a save state for the hell of it, even though it's select, it's let's see, save state. Okay. All right. Oh, and then the next Batman will be the arcade one. All right. I don't think I've seen that one. That's the I haven't played it. Yeah, I've I've only seen a slight amount of it on the um, video that I'll show in a sec. Oh, at least stopped recording.